And if you've ever taken the ferry to or from Port Aransas, you know there can sometimes be some wait times. Absolutely, but beginning tomorrow, those wait times are expected to get a lot longer. Chris X News reporter Ashley Portillo explains why. It's part of the dredging project to deepen and widen the ship channel. Beginning tomorrow, that dredging is expected to take place in the pathway of where those ferries operate. It'll be impacting those getting to and from work and visiting the islands. Two commuters I spoke with tell me they both take the ferry from Rockport to Port Aransas every day. For them, it's usually a 30 minute drive with a 15 to 20 minute wait for the ferry. But that wait is expected to get even longer and they both agree that time is money. It's going to cost me more money because now i got to drive all the way around or I've got to sit in line for an hour and a half and let my car run. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know how, what the delay is going to be, so I'm a little nervous. A spokesperson for TaxDot says it's still unclear how much longer those wait times will be. They'll have a better idea when the dredging begins in that area. But the company did say the dredging project will likely force them to reduce the number of ferries that operate. A spokesperson for TaxDot says those longer wait times are expected to last for up to two weeks. Of course, if there's any new information or updates about those delays, we'll be sure to let you know. Back to you. All right, and by the way, the current phase of dredging is going to wrap up in February. The entire channel improvement project is expected to take three to four years to complete.